Shalom, Chavri, uh, I'm Stephen Benun. You are watching Israeli News Live right now, as you are seeing on the screen there in the background there. Uh, there has been a terrorist attack, of course, in France, not just one, uh, but there is multiple attacks. And even now, uh, there is over 100 hostages uh, being held there. Uh, no one has publicly uh, 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 have actually claimed responsibility. There was a friend of one reporter, though, that was in the building where the hostages were taken, that would managed to escape uh, during the, the, the hostage taking there in Paris, France there. And he stated that there was a lot of talk in there by the uh, terrorists that, uh, of Syria. And uh, so it, it, for us, it is quite evident. We do believe that ISIS is the one that is involved in this attack here. We believe it is a retaliation for the French uh, bombing the oil fields of uh, the ISIS controlled uh, militants there in Syria. Uh, they are trying to repay France for what they did. It's very obvious of that. It's very sad though uh, to know because there has been already over 100 uh, deaths as a result of the bombings, as a result of the gunfights that have been taking place in Paris in many different locations, including uh, uh, in a sports arena, in a, in a uh, theater, I believe, as well as uh, in, in a bar. Uh, just really horrendous, the effects that are going on with ISIS. And of course, even the media has been reporting there that uh, that the government is closing their borders and the, the people are concerned that one of the main causes uh, for these type of attacks is that they have had tens of thousands of refugees come in totally undocumented, unaccounted for. ISIS had said that they would do this. They would they would mingle in amongst the refugees that were being thrown out of out of uh, the country there. Uh, being forced out as a result of the war going on that was originally started by the United States and trying to topple uh, Basar al-Assad, uh, president of Syria. And so they have created the problem themselves. The United States created it. The United States created the ISIS group to begin with, as well as uh, the, the, different, uh, the different factions that are fighting the Free Syrian Army that's trying to topple Basar al-Assad. Uh, we know that Vladimir Putin, though, as well, is uh, now stepped up to, to, to supposedly is there to, to keep al-Assad from being overthrown, started his own military base there in the region. All of this is happening because why? The world is wanting to take full control of the, the area there in, um, uh, in, in, in and around Israel, the, the world is wanting, the different world governments are wanting to get a hold of the, the land of Israel. They want Jerusalem. The Vatican wants Jerusalem, so they are pushing for this fight to begin with, uh, that they can get control of Jerusalem. The different countries, the United States, the EU, uh, the European nations, Germany, France, Russia, they all want to get control of the Golan, the oil rich fields, the, the, the natural gas, the oil that is off the coast of Israel, off the coast of Syria, and it has created a major chaos. Now, we actually mentioned to you guys the other day, those of you that are watching the prophetic side of this, is that in the book of Micah, this is something that is actually uh, prophetic uh, that is happening right now. We are clearly seeing a prophecy from the book of Micah being fulfilled right before uh, our eyes. And, uh, and I think it would be good to bring this back to your attention. It's Micah chapter 7. Uh, and this is in regards to Syria and what is actually happening there in Syria there. So let's quickly go back to this so that you can see what is going on here. Uh, when we go into the seventh chapter, when you get down, say, about the 12th verses, in that day, uh, two, uh, one second here, we had a little pause in the, uh, the live broadcast here. I want to keep that going for you guys. It says, in that day also he shall come even to thee from Assyria and from the fortified cities and from the fortress even to the river and from sea to sea and from mountains to mountains. Now this is those nations that will come against Israel in the very coming uh, months and maybe year or so down the road. Uh, but it is definitely, uh, it is preparing, but it says they will come from the sea to sea, from mountain to mountain. The nations will come all around Israel to be able to attack it. 
notwithstanding the land shall be desolate because of them that dwell therein for the fruit of their doings. Now that's Syria he's speaking of, or Assyria as the biblical name for Syria is given here, uh, that, that the land would be desolate, Syria would be desolate. And this is exactly what we are seeing. The, as a result, the United States beginning this com, this uh, this this uh, uh, bombing campaign on the Syrian nation. It has disrupted the people. It has sent refugees throughout the world, the United States. Germany has the most of these refugees also. France has taken the refugees in as well. And one of my concerns has been is why would ISIS attack France, a nation that is welcoming in all these different refugees from Syria, but you have to understand there is a motive by ISIS to do this, and that is because uh, France bombed their oil, uh, uh, their their gas refinery, their oil fields to try to stop the production. And the reason why they did this is to try to hide what they were actually doing there. Uh, so if you see the images, by the way, the images on the screen here, this is where I believe one of the bombings took place. Many people were killed in the suicide bombing there, or the, or the bombing, I should say suicide, but the bombing attack. This is the sports arena that is going on there in the background now. Uh, there was attacks there as well. Uh, but anyway, let me take you real quick here the reason why the attack is happening in the first place here. This is called the Middle East Eye. Uh, I just copied this. It'll be on uh, YouTube on our, uh, the, we'll have the link on the video here on Israeli News Live when we post this on YouTube. But uh, it says the UK, the US turn a blind eye to Islamic State oil sales. Now, the reason why is because in, in more recent reports, by the way, this report came out in July of 2015, but in more recent, the U.S. media has been trying to make it look as if it is Turkey and, and Basar al-Assad that is the ones that are selling the oil to other, to other nations. They're totally taking themselves out of the blame here, and yet Russia clearly has identified uh, the you uh, has clearly identified that he knew who was buying the oil and he says why aren't sanctions being put on these nations because why Russia knew that the United States that the, that the European Union themselves who was part of the coalition of putting sanctions on Russia were in fact the ones actually buying the oil and he even says we know who's doing it all right now the article here clearly comes out and and condemns them for doing this it said uh, it says key out allies in the U.S. and U.K. led war on Islamic State, ISIS, or covertly financing the terrorist movement, movement according to senior political sources in the region. U.S. and British oil companies are heavily invested in the murky geopolitical triangle sustaining ISIS black market of oil sales. The Kurdish regional government, the KRG, in Iraq and Turkish military intelligence have supported secret ISIS oil smuggling operations and supplied arms to the terror group, according to the Kurdish, Iraqi, and Turkish officials. Uh, it says one British oil company in particular, Janelle Energy, is co contracted by the KRG, that's the Kurdish regional government, uh, to supply oil for a major Kurdish firm accused of facilitating the ISIS oil sales to Turkey. The, the Kurdish firm has close ties to the Iraqi Kurdish government. Uh, Janelle, uh, Janelle Energy, that is, operates in KRG, uh, the Kurdish regional uh, government, uh, with the backing of the British government, and also is linked into a British parliamentary group with long-standing connections to both the British and the KRG oil industries. The relationship between British and Kurdish energy companies and senior British pol politicians raises questions about conflict of interest, especially in the context of a war on terror that is supposed to be targeting, not financing the Islamic State. So you can see why there is a battle brewing here that is going on over this, uh, these, this oil-rich region. And at the same time, Germany has been known to purchase this oil as well. They're getting it for like $15 to $20 a barrel. It is paid in cash. And of course, they're taking advantage of these lower prices so that they can, the millionaires and billionaires that own these companies that have stock in these companies, they will make far greater profits because they've not lowered your gas prices or your oil process, prices as they, as they uh, build on this, uh, this momentum that is going on. Um, 
It says here that uh, one of ISIS' most significant sources of revenue is oil smuggling. The Islamic State controls approximately 60% of Syria's oil and seven major oil producing assets in Iraq. Use, using a carefully cultivated network of intermediaries and middlemen in the Kurdish region of Iraq as well as in Turkey, ISIS has been able to produce phenomenal 45,000 barrels of oil a day, raking in as much as $3 million a day in cash by selling the oil at a well below market prices. So you can only imagine too the weapon manufacturers and everybody that's making the millions and billions of dollars that are doing this. Again, it reminds me of what Yeshua says in the, uh, the Humane Gospel, the Ebonite Gospel there that many of the early church fathers used to cite from this book that they would take and th those that had power would gather lands and riches for themselves and they would imprison uh, but not with prisons, the people, in order to gain this, this money here. And that's exactly what we see happening today there. So the, the issue that is going on in France right now is a direct result of the conflict that, uh, that or, the, or the escalation of violence that is happening in France is as a result, ISIS is retaliating because why? They were playing the game along with the European Union, the United States, and, and they were uh, built by the U.S., ISIS was, to be able to topple the Assad regime. But now that Russia is in the region there, it is stopping the EU, the, the United Nations, it's hindering their ability to get control of this region in which they wanted to do. Uh, this is one reason why you see the fulfillment of, of, of Micah's prophecy, that the land would be would, uh, as it says here in verse 13, notwithstanding the land shall be desolate because of them that dwell therein for the fruit of their doings. You see, the ones that dwell therein because they got involved with the United States, they took the funding, they caused the civil war in the country, they caused the refugee crisis, they have fulfilled biblical prophecy, they have caused all the, the, the uh, many of the Arabic people to flee the land and to go into Europe, into the United States, and you know, you cannot expect, the Bible clearly says, if you whatsoever a man reaps, that shall he sow. And Jesus says, do unto others as that you would have them do unto you. So this is exactly what we see happening here. Uh, it, it is very sad to say the very least uh, uh, that, that has taken place. It is very sad for the loss of lives here. Uh, no doubt we feel for the French people and what they're going through. I, I can certainly attest to that. I've been through a suicide bombing myself. I know what it's like to be there uh, and, and what these things are like, period. Uh, but it is very sad. But then again, you have to understand ISIS is, is retaliating because the French government, along with the U.S. allies, are trying to silence so that the world does not find out that, yes, they bomb these facilities so that no one will know that they were actually purchasing the oil as well, only to make their millionaires and billionaires far more wealthy, far more rich. Uh, the, the arms sales would increase as, a, as well. Uh, so the buying of the oil gives them the money, which in turn gives the, the, the militants and the ISIS groups there uh, the ability to buy arms from those multi-billionaire arm factories there, the United States, the European Union, etc., in order to fight even more. So now that they see the ones that has helped them to gain power in the country only turn against them, they are going to turn against those people as well. And unfortunately, the, the civilians and the citizens in this region here, they have no idea what their governments have done. And this is what's really sad. Very sad. I'm Stephen Benoon. Shalom. God bless you. And, and, and we certainly will be praying for those that are under this type of attack. Shalom. Shalom.